I like how you're still wearing the, the Willow Sunset Sarsaparilla badge. Sir, sir, Santa Claus. I'm sure you're Santa Claus. Now, okay, that guy is moving really fast. <laughs> that guy was moving really fast for someone that was moving diagonally. Hmm. Normally, only bishops can do that. Ah, I got it. A chess joke. <laughs> I'm terrible at chess. Oh, yeah? Want me to teach you sometime? Uh, I, 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 I don't want to learn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Doesn't sound fun. Okay. I could learn to play chess, or I could play Bloodborne, whatever. I think I know what I've, I'm going to do. <laughs> I already know how to play Blood. Oh! Oh, they got a tree! Look at this! Wow, it's like a 12-footer. Dang, that's, that's amazing. A, that's a big tree. Ho, hey. ho, ho, it's me, Santa Claus. Hey, just because it's colder weather, uh -huh. doesn't mean half of you guys can be in beanies and half of you can't. got to be in uniform. Oh, do I have to sit up? I, I am Santa. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I know, I know. All right, guys, I know that you got excited. I know we all got in the Christmas spirit, right? I know everyone's, everyone's, yay, Christmas, yay, Christmas. Hey. But ha Halloween is uh -huh. over. Do we need to take down the skull deck? Oh, those are real skulls. We don't have to take them down necessarily, but, okay, but we uh, do have to put Christmas hats on them. For Christmas, you're all getting therapy this yeah. year. <laughs> Who wants to sit on Santa's lap? Oh, who's the first Evening. one? Oh, boy. Hey. You know what? I didn't realize that I would be Santa. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was going to... Well, at least let me get in character. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. What do you want for Christmas? A nuclear winner. Great. Go up uh, next. Who's Santa's that? gonna have an aneurysm. And uh, you, little boy. Hey. What do you, What do you want this year? Money. Fair enough. That's simple, actually. A very realistic ask. Hey. Merry Christmas, young NCR trooper. What would you like for Christmas? More chems. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What's that, Caesar? <laughs> hey. A, a farmer. Merry Christmas, man with fun hat. What would you like for Christmas? Corn. Corn. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> you just stand Is that Mr. House? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. House has something he wants to ask. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to have to force his way through here. Look out, soldier. Look out. Evening. You've been a busy Santa, haven't you? <laughs> you take your obligation to deliver presents very seriously. Yes, I do, Mr. House. Oh, what would you like for Christmas? The spruce goose, maybe? The partnership. The, of course you, you need, want that. Yeah. Why would, you, need, you, need to, you need to back up a little bit, man. So I finally get to meet the Santa who's accomplished so much in so little time. <laughs> I mean, a mare nearly kills you, and your response is to give him presents. <laughs> you give presents. I like that. <laughs> What would you like for Christmas, Caesar? The Gellian dialectics. <laughs> the Gellian dialectics. What? <laughs> okay. It was hello. Is that it? Did we give everyone the presents hello? and everything. Hey. <laughs> it's Santa done. All right. It's everyone. It's time for Santa smoke hey, break. <laughs> cool. What would you like for Christmas, young man? An agrarian society. <laughs> hey. What can I do for you? Uh, any more work? Before you can do anything else, you'll have to defeat my seven evil X tax collectors. <laughs> what? Uh, seven evil tax X tax collectors? Okay, does that mean I'm a tax collector? All right, fine, but you gotta defeat them first. We gotta defeat them for the privilege of being a tax collector. All right, yeah, we can we can do that, I guess. Okay, off to defeat tax collectors, evil X tax collectors. I didn't think Santa was that kind of. I didn't realize the Santa gig was this intense. <laughs> oh, seven evil ex tax collectors. Maybe they were tax collectors, but they realized the gig wasn't that. Oh, there's one, there's one! Alright! Oh, Unload, volume of fire! <laughs> Just came God. sprinting right at you. Homicides will not be tolerated. Ho, 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 it's time to blow Damn. you away! Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's what Santa's known for, right? <laughs> All right. so, two down, five to go. They're not really putting up much of a threat. Just, yeah, yeah. Not, not really. Just kind of people in suits. So there's probably somebody in the Atomic Wrangler. Protect his lord. Uh, no, nope, he's right over there. Oh my god, he was using a grenade launcher. That's what I thought. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, like, they're actually attacking in groups. Holy shit. Smart. <laughs> Aha. Well, Commencing lawful use of deadly. There's the last one, right? Over here. 
What have you done? I think there's more than one. Okay, so there were seven after all. There were more. That's life in Freeside for you. That is, you know, one day, one day you're living life in Freeside, and then the next day, a swarm bunch of, of tax dudes, collectors, bunch of dudes show up with flamethrowers and uh, just start burning everything. Mm -hmm. Who's this person? Hey there. Don't suppose you'd be looking to buy a Brahmin? I'm not really. Tell me about this Brahmin. I call her Betsy. Of course yes, you do. Yes, sir. A fine animal. Left by a guy, an adventurer type like you, a few months ago now. He never came back. Guess he made it big in Vegas and didn't need her no more. Or perhaps wherever he is now, you don't need no Brahmin. Or anything at all. Are you insinuating he's dead? Anyways, she's a fine animal. But I ain't paying for her feed no more. She's got to go. Someone's gonna be real lucky with this one. What would I need a Brahmin for? You look the prospector type. I can see from all the junk you're carrying. I'm carrying a lot of shit. You could be moving ten times the haul each salvage trip. You need yourself a genuine pack animal. Lucky for you, I got one. Ooh, it could be our arms Brahmin. That way, instead of always going back to Good Springs and raiding the good doctor's house, we just have a cow full of guns. Yeah, but then what happens when one stray bullet hits the cow? All of our companions have flood armor. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, well, I'm going to buy the cow, but not because you're a good salesman, because you're not. 500 caps, even. Mm, 500 caps, that old pile of bones? I'll give you 250 tops. You drive a hard bargain. Yes, I do. But I need a quick sale. Done. Come with me, and I'll open up her pen for you. Are you a functioning cow? Hey, we got a cow. Okay, new cow companion. New cow companion. Are both heads named Betsy? Yes, they're both Betsy. Betsy 1 and Betsy 2? No, it's just Betsy. Okay. Wow, that is a bright light on top of there. I don't remember that being there. Uh, the follower set up a radio tower? I guess. Okay. Why have they put red lights on it? It's not like there's low-flying aircraft. As far as we know, there might be. The recent disturbance at Gamora has been resolved. Do not be afraid to patronize Gamora. Do not be afraid to patronize Gamora. Hey, Gamora, where'd you hey. get your poker chips? The sewer. Ah. That's just hey. straight up insulting. Hey, Gamora. Nice slot machines. That's just sarcasm. No, no, Gamora, you're doing a great job. You're an awesome casino, and I'm not being sarcastic at you're all. You're everyone's first choice for a casino to go to. That's me being patronizing. That's, That's that, there you go. There you go. Nope. Due to her size, Betsy is unable to enter the interiors of most buildings. She will wait for you outside. Uh oh. Okay, well, good Betsy. Mm -hmm. You know, I I've watched the Santa Claus, but I didn't I did not see Tim Allen out there killing ex tax collectors. That's because that happened off screen. Ah, okay. Yeah, that happened in. That's between... the extended cut of the movie. Yeah, that, well, that happened in between the first and the second one after uh, <laughs> after he gave the guy the weenie whistle. Yeah. Um, and then in the second one, they were like, "You need to find a wife." And the reason they did that is they were trying to get him to calm the fuck down <laughs> after just killing a bunch of tax collectors. They were like Santa. You need to get laid. I know that they were on the naughty list, but Santa's job description doesn't include murder. It's not a perk either, despite what you Help keep me. on insisting. And then Santa was like, ur, 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 ur. <laughs> I was on home improvement. <laughs> I played Tim the Tool Man Taylor. I ratted out my friends when I was in my 20s, and they all went down for, for drug charges. Didn't he also do that, though? Yeah, he did. That's why I made the joke. Okay. <laughs> Tim Allen ratted out a bunch of his, like, drug dealers for, for, like, drug possession. Oh, after he got caught, you mean? Yeah, uh, after he got caught, which, to be fair, I would probably do the same thing. <laughs> she is never going to sell drugs to you. <laughs> it's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? We killed all your friends, ex-tax collectors. Great, thanks. I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. After we do sleep. Do you want me to rest? It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. I would like another job. We need you to go. Collect taxes. Oh, good. Now we are the tax collectors. Man, I've been looking forward to this. Come back when it's done. 
You, the way you, the way, the intonation of that sentence led me to believe there was more afterwards. <laughs> there was not. It was just come back when you're done. And I was, I was waiting for the or don't come back at all. But there, there that was it. You, 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 you gave me a literary blue ball. I'm mad he didn't threaten me. <laughs> oh god, we gotta go all over creation, do we? Oh lord, yeah, we gotta go all over the place. All right, well, let's just let's just fast travel to. The sharecropper farms. Alright, I'll do it first. What is this here? A helicopter? <laughs> is that Bet what fast travel is? <laughs> no, Betsy just went. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You haven't filed in 10 years. Pay up, chump. What do you need? Ho, ho, ho. It's time for your audit, young man. Bring me corn. No. I don't think you understand how that's tax not, collection works. That's not how tax collection works. Fine, fine. Bring me corn. Bring me corn, and I'll pay my taxes. Fine. Bring him corn. No, you pay your taxes, or you go to jail. Wait, I can't, I can't just take the corn. Ah, oh, shit. I have no idea where the corn is that they want us to pick. Um, oh. Um. No. <laughs> uh, lesser corn. As the are these the corn? <laughs> lesser corn. That's a lot of corn. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! The corns aren't happy with oh, the corn! Oh, no, the corn! Corn, why? Oh my god! Just grab the. Just, just, grab take, the, just take the corn. Just take the corn. I'm glad the other corn was raised cage free. We killed your corn, and here's the corpses. What do you need? Here's the corn. Good. Saves me paperwork. For. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hello, little lesser corn that we didn't murder. <laughs> Hello, lesser corn. <laughs> I'll take it. I love it. It's great. Zach, this is a very weird caravan we have going on. What are you? Thanks to the taxes, chump. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the most accurate response for me pointing a shotgun at someone. What are you, Pam? Oh my god, are we That's gonna be collecting taxes from a lake lurk? Please tell me we're collecting taxes from a lake lurk. No, the tax collector's being attacked by lake lurks. We gotta save the tax collector. Or no, we're the tax. Save, save the taxi. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need your taxes. Show me your 1099. They were attacking something, but I'm not sure what they were attacking. Oh wait, he's out in the water. Oh, there he is. That it? <laughs> there's a guy swimming. I gotta say, this is the weirdest. This is the weirdest Hello? business meeting I've ever had. What do you need? Uh, I'm here for your taxes. If I don't get more water soon, I won't make my quota this season. <laughs> more, more water now. Um, gotta bring you some purified water, maybe. We need your taxes. I, but wh what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Get the taxes off his corpse, I guess. What, what do you think happens when you hire a bunch of ar heavily armed mercenaries to collect taxes? What did you think was gonna happen? There, there they are, all right. We got his taxes. Uh, there you go, there's all the water. There's all the water you'll ever need. He's not gonna be able to pay next year's taxes though. Look, there's a corn dog. Oh. Oh, it's a corn dog. It's a corn dog. You know, I just got that. Good, good job, Bob. You made me question my sanity. <laughs> Where is this person we gotta get taxes? Oh, uh, he's down this way, says Santa. Who is patrolling on the outskirts of Forlorn Hope? A soldier on the ground with all of his limbs blown off because he walked into the minefield. What can I get you for Christmas? No limbs! We need your taxes. This is weird! Uh, it says I'm standing right on top of him, oh, apparently. great. Find him. This is an issue. They hiding in the rock, maybe. Give us your tax returns or something. How am I supposed to, you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Uh, maybe they're in the abandoned bunker. Yeah, maybe. See, if they were underground in the bunker though, it would be like, it would be telling me to go to the bunker, wouldn't it? You would think so, yes. I think the third and final person we're supposed to get taxes from is Lieutenant Hayes. Oh. Me and my rangers are co Uh, Lieutenant Hayes has died. 
A Jackal gang member killed Lieutenant Hayes. I guess grab Lieutenant Hayes' dog tag, send it back to his family. Uh... Yeah, he died a long time ago. Yeah, I think he's buried out here, which is why the thing is pointing us to the- Yeah, I think we buried him and then moved this giant rock on top of him. Mm hmm Whoa, wait, can we- can, uh, hang on, hang on, I have an idea. Yeah, I'll dig him up so we get the tax returns? Yeah, we'll dig him up and use your necromancy powers to resurrect him. Uh, hello? Yeah? I'm here for your taxes. Oh, that's great. I sure could use some help. You see, I can't afford them. I'm sure 10. Ten thousand? Uh, is there any other way to pay the taxes? I remember hearing there was NCR money at the NCRCF. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll leave you dead, actually. All right, uh, we'll just do that. Move along. I'm moving. I'm moving. Tell us what to do, stupid robots. You don't. You don't tell us what to do. We tell you what to do because you're. Yeah, you have to obey the laws of robotics, even though those aren't actually, like, laws, and they're not obligated to follow them. You can't kill me, robot! You have to follow the three laws of robotics! Ha ha ha! Asimov was full of shit! Asimov only proposed those. They were never enacted by Robot Congress. And even if there were, Robot President would robot veto. Robot President would overcome the filibuster. Oh, helicopter. Why is there a vertebrate landing on this? Spot? What if that oh, what if that's actual Santa and he's here to arrest me for impersonating Santa? Oh, I'm I'm worried now. Today, all Southern Nevada will pay taxes. Gonna go tax people around Nevada? Is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah, let's get to taxing. What we got the president as a follower now? President Gimbals are follow no, wait, your vertebrate's taking off of that? Oh, okay. But it just blows up. Yeah, okay, he heard you were collecting taxes, so we're gonna go collect taxes. He's really excited. Well, we've already got all the taxes, though. I, You know, I probably should have waited when I heard the vertebird, <laughs> because that, I think he showed up to help us collect taxes. Right. But we've already done it. <laughs> well, now we got him as a follower anyway. All right. Salute! Everybody salute! It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. And also the president. What the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Hayes can't afford to pay his taxes. Oh. Oh, I see. You could just have the army garnish his wages to pay his taxes. And repossess all of his property. Good idea. Also, you should kill his family. And we finished collecting the taxes. That's great to hear. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. I am overwhelmed. What, what, what are you giving us? You're welcome. Enjoy. But also, I've been directed to send you on to Colonel Moore at Hoover Dam. Oh, yeah? She's been following my reports on your exploits with some interest. Gonna collect more taxes, huh? What did I get? Did you, did you give us anything? I don't think you did. War crime time! Hell yeah! <laughs> what? No, you can't call a quest that! Nothing says Christmas like war crimes! Uh... Welcome to the Hoover Dam, Mike. Hey, welcome to the Hoover Dam, Mr. President. Remember last time you were here and you almost got shot? That was pretty crazy. <laughs> he didn't almost. He did. Yeah, but then I rewound time. It was fine. Oh, yeah, that's true. Also, you weren't there for that. You were in quarantine. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. Think you're up for a real mission? No, I'm not up for real missions. I'm here for Christmas. Do you have anything festive in mind? A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. Their consensus is that we must focus on the one thing we can count on. Yeah. War crime. War crime? War crime. Ooh, what do you need me to do? I want you to go to Red Rock Canyon and assassinate civilians. Uh, uh, assassinate civilians? civilians? Oh, civilians! Civilians! Okay, yeah, we can do that. We can, we can do that, right? Like, I mean, that's... that. No, no, nothing's gonna physically stop us from doing that. So, but before we do that, can we take a side trip to Good Springs? Uh, we'll load all of the guns in the Brahmin, and we'll be able to bring any gun we want with us at oh, any point. Oh, we need to load all the guns into the Brahmin, but yeah, we can do that. Hey, Doc Mitchell, don't mind us grabbing guns and stuff. Any guns. Any guns we want. Let's just grab all these guns, and we'll load up our Brahmin, and they can bring all this stuff with us, and we'll never have to come back here ever again. We'll even pick up some of these pieces of armor that are causing visual glitches. You'll have a nice glitch-free living room. You'll you'll be so happy. And these gold oh, bars. Oh yeah, the gold bars. Those definitely. I can't believe those are still here in your house. <laughs> I. Why have we not taken the gold bars back? I. I don't know. 
Where's the Where's the cow? Where is the cow? Where'd the Where'd the cow go? Oh no. Betsy. Bet Betsy. Where'd you go, Betsy? Betsy. Where you're off to? We got guns for you. B Betsy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> did you, did, oh, there's Betsy. Oh, Bet there she is. Hey, Betsy. Making my way downtown, moving fast. Cow is <laughs> moving cows are fast. fast. Moving <laughs> fast. I'm just gonna give her literally everything and then pick the weapons I want out of. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and now we go assassinate civilians, huh? Yeah, now we're gonna go commit some more crimes. Okay. We're gonna turn some people into trench confetti. Hey, everybody, we're here to, well, definitely not kill you. No, no, we're, no, we're not committing war crimes. No, absolutely not. Oh, they've got a tree up as well. Oh, look how festive. Uh, it almost makes me not want to kill them. Also, the fact that it, 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 they've done nothing wrong makes me not want to kill them. Uh, they're definitely murdering our frame rate. Oh, now it's justified murdering them. Yeah, see, now it's justified because our frame rate is completely tanking. Right, and the more of them they die, the more of them we get back. Stop stealing our frames. It's time to die. It's like I'm piloting a Mars rover. What is a 20-minute delay? Hmm. Get ready for a fight. Uh, don't mind us. We're, oh, there we go. Getting some of the fish. Oh, this is perfect. Excellent. All right. Remember what you said? It's only a war crime if you're actually at war. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Leave no survivors. I hope you're enjoying this, President Kimball. Never mind, you guys don't get these Christmas presents. You haven't been good enough. You haven't been good enough. And President Kimball's been very naughty. President Kimball got a rim job in the Oval Office. <laughs> he was still a damn good president, though, honestly. I can't say that. I can't say that. Well, you can't say rim job? I, maybe I can. That was your name. 